This is by far the scariest movie in all of cinema is what I would have said if you asked me when I was five years old. This was my first horror movie, first stop motion film, and even worse, my introduction to the British. Shit's terrifying. It took me like two weeks as a kid to get through this whole entire movie. First jump scare that happens, I turn it off and said, nope. I'll start again next week. Upon rewatching this since my childhood, I've realized that one, I was a little bitch, and two, this movie might be DreamWorks' most underrated movie alongside Peabody and Sherman. Nobody move! Sherman, I've got to get you out of here before you touch yourself! <gasps> In this movie, Wallace and his loyal dog Gromit set out to discover the mystery behind the garden sabotage that plagues their village and threatens the annual giant vegetable growing contest. Out of any DreamWorks movie, this one feels like it's one of their biggest dares. In 2005, did any kid in America know of Wallace and Gromit? Sure, this movie won the Oscar and made more than its budget back, but I'm really happy DreamWorks decided to take the risk to release this movie in theaters, despite their characters being more popular internationally. But no offense to British people, but y'all are really funny sometimes. Someone in this movie used the word gallivant and it was like the greatest thing ever. Stop motion is one of the all-time greats and even 19 years later it absolutely holds up well. The way the characters move are extremely expressive and fluid. This movie took five years to make which means they only got 10 seconds of footage each day. Stop motion is such a delicate craft and it makes it all the more better when the film is equally as great with its other aspects that aren't just the animation. Similar to how Death Stranding is the first strand type game, this movie is truly the first vegetarian horror film. It's uh... It's uh, very groundbreaking in that sense. Instead of the werewolf, we get a were-rabbit, and it's such a goofy concept that works to perfection. I like this idea of not having a werewolf, but different animals like werehogs. It's stupid, but it works. Good game, by the way. Wallace and Gromit has always been cheeky and clever with its shorts, but expanding it to its full feature length feels natural here. There's so much hilarious wordplay, like the bullet used to defeat the were-rabbit is made of 24 karat gold but it's, it's actually a carrot. This movie truly has a subtle British humor that helps this movie differentiate from the other studio's movies where they think being loud is hysterical. The main characters stay true to how they act in the shorts, Wallace being a little dim-witted but a genius inventor. Also, he's addicted to cheese like it's crack. Gromit is literally the best character in this movie. He's a smart, non-verbal dog and his mannerisms are so fun to watch. I swear in this movie, everyone is an idiot but him. Honestly, one of the best dogs in cinematic history. <laughs> If I had any gripes with this movie, is while the music is stellar and reminiscent of the shorts that preceded it, sometimes they play the same track over and over and over and over again, and while it's not annoying, it becomes somewhat distracting. But despite that, Wallace and Gromit The Curse of the Were-Rabbit feels like a classic horror film for the whole family, while it simultaneously puts its own creative spin on the genre. I mean, shit, it's Millie Bobby Brown's favorite movie. These are great. The dirtier the better. <laughs> 